After suffering a spinal cord injury and becoming a quadriplegic with not very good finger function or dexterity, it can be difficult to figure out how and type using a keyboard on a computer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I type as a C5 through C7 quadriplegic with no finger function. Let me know in the comments how you type yourself and if you use any tools or any software, um, any special keyboards or anything like that and I would be interested to see what you use. I know some people use a stylus and hold it in their hand and use the rubber end to press the keys on the keyboard and other people use something such as a universal cuff that goes around your hand and has velcro on it and they'll stick a pencil in there and use the eraser end to press the keys. I try to avoid relying on adaptive equipment as much as possible because when I don't have it then I feel like I'm put at a disadvantage because I don't really know how to do it without the equipment. I know some people don't have very good use of their arms so what I would recommend is looking into a software such as the Dragon Natural Speaking software for your computer to where you can just talk and it does the typing and other things for you just by using your voice. If you are new to the channel I am Mason Ellis and I am a C5 through C7 quadriplegic and I make videos to help you live life just like you would have able body. If you enjoy the video be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. As far as the keyboard goes, I just use a normal keyboard and I know some people have special keyboards that they use. Before my injury, I could type on the keyboard without even looking at it, so I had the whole layout of the keyboard memorized and I was pretty quick at typing. When I first began typing, I would use my knuckles to type on the keyboard and it was okay, but it wasn't quick and my fingers and wrist would get tired just after a sentence or two. I then got these typing tools here and they sped up my typing and then I eventually got to where I didn't need these. But to put these typing tools on is somewhat tricky but I figured it out eventually and I just put it on like that and my fingers naturally curl and I just use this for typing. So once you have them on you just hit the keys with these rubber tips on the end like this so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So right there and I didn't make any mistakes. So I was using this for a little bit especially when I first started college and was typing out essays. If you are interested in these typing tools there is a link down in the description below. I then got to wear the tenodesis in my wrists and hands were a lot better as far as like strength and not wearing out as quickly and I was able to actually speed up the process of me typing the way I started to with just the index knuckle on my finger. So I will show it right here the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog so as far as capital letters I will use my left thumb right here on the shift button and just hold it down and I will take my index knuckle of my right hand and do a capital letter like that. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and then period. Sometimes I don't want to use both hands and I'll just use my right hand so instead of using my left uh, thumb on this shift button I will just hit the caps lock button for a capital letter and then hit the letter itself so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and for a punctuation mark such as the explanation mark I will hold down the shift button with my left thumb and press the number one just like that. For my left hand I use the knuckle of my index finger for like a tab or caps lock or the shift I will use my left thumb like this as well as control button. Other than that I pretty much use my right hand for any of the other keys on the keyboard. This is how I've typed multiple essays in college 
and it seemed to work just fine. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how you type on a computer keyboard, whether you use special typing tools or you have a software that you use to help you type or even a special kind of keyboard. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos.